And today I wanted to bring back kind of a dead series in my videos, and that's the Drupal series. I've had many, many people asking me um, to do more Drupal videos, and tr truth be told, I've kind of been bored with Drupal because I don't work on any um, websites that use it anymore. But there's been some pretty notable news that I wanted to go through with you, and it calls for a new series, I think. That is the release of Drupal 7 in Drupal phase. Now, as we all know, Drupal matures very, very often being open source software, and it's really important more than any other system, really, that you stay in the loop with new philosophies and other things. So, uh, this is a perfect thing and a very pertinent thing to do a new series on to show you the changes in um, Drupal 7, um, what, what you can expect from it when it kind of finally does get released and just kind of give you a you know, whistle stop tour in general. So, there's so, there's so much to cover and I'm certainly not going to cover everything but in this first video I wanted to cover some of the notable changes in the install process seeing as that's kind of going to be the first thing you're going to be looking at so I'm here on Drupal.org and if we just look at my screen here um, I'll go on to the project page where you download Drupal We see the, this notice here when will Drupal 7 be released, and it outlines some key issues um, that have to be released before they will release Drupal 7. And here we see it's in alpha form. Now it's really important that I note here that this is not for um, production software. This is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video, doing this video now because I have access to a, an unused someone used web space so I can show you guys this but this is not production software it's not even in beta it's only, only in alpha form so if you're um, if you're using a production site definitely use the latest version of Drupal 6 Another interesting point of note is that um, instead of these time gone on, as you can see through five uh, Drupal five was seven hundred and fifty kilobytes, Drupal six was one point oh four kilobytes, uh, one point oh four megabytes, and the current release of Drupal seven is two point to nine megabytes so it's been steadily growing in size as functionality has been increasing and when it comes to a web application uh, that's not always ideal but that's just something to chew on so there you know how to download it now i'm not going to go through all the installation process because i've done that before in previous videos i'm just going to show you the changes that you'll see Okay, so when when we first when we first go on here, unfortunately, in, uh, um, we we're brought to the install script, and we see a massive, massive change. Instead of a con continuation of this garland theme, we've got a, a really nice install install theme that's really simple, and that is really the um. That is really the keystone of Drupal 7. It uh, outlines the step here, and that's and that's something new that I'll talk about in a minute. Because first we have to choose an install profile, which is something entirely new that you have to do for Drupal 7. We can see that it's got this nice button with some nice CS3 rounded corners, and it's just generally a lot nicer admin theme so let's get to the crux of this video um you can see here i have two options 
and that currently wasn't there in in Drupal 6. The first is standard in, and it says install with commonly used features pre-configured. Now this adds a bunch of modules like views functionality and a lot of CK type stuff that's new in Drupal 7 that a lot, a lot of people will need to use on their sites. Minimal is like um, a little bit less than the current Drupal 6 install base so you can really add um, really add your own functionality like you currently do in Drupal but the standard mode is kind of trying to increase some usability add some more custom content types some more themes which I'll, I'll outline all of that in in later videos but for now we'll just go through the install process so it's pretty much the same for each you you just and um, you get a few different art install options depending on which one you choose but and um, I'll show you what minimal is but right now I'm just going to go through a standard install and you just select the language this is the same as in Drupal 6 um, now irritatingly irritatingly this problem is still here it's a always been a, a Drupal thing but the first thing you see when you try and install this if you ha haven't used Drupal before is an error message and that can be a little unnerving but that was there before so I'm just gonna um, uh, cut the video back when when the, there's a change that I need to note. One thing I should note here that, is that with this version of Drupal 7 uh, default S SQLite database support has been added to the installer. One other thing I wanted to note is that with this install of Drupal 7 you have this new server settings section which allows you to create things like default countries and things like that which is very nice. Um, the installer also gives you nice colour coded um, prompts throughout the install. So, um, I'll just go. I'll just fill some details in here. And if we click save and continue, uh, okay, there we there we go. So hopefully that that showed you some of the changes in in the Drupal 7 install process really I think much more refined but it still needs a bit of work and we get a message that says congratulations and um, you, you installed Drupal and then we get a link to uh, go, go straight away to visit our site I hope you enjoyed this video look out for more videos going over more Drupal specific stuff um, thanks for watching.